Hey guys, Dr. Christiana. Whether you are an athlete or you just like watching athletes on TV, still one of the most common injuries that's going to happen for anybody is an ankle sprain. So today we're gonna to take you from that very beginning stage where it hurts like a son of a gun to the end so that you can help prevent getting another one because one of the most common causes of an ankle sprain is a previous ankle sprain. Terrible circle, right? So step one, this is always the hardest part, is that if you've just done this in the last couple days, you have to let it rest, okay? Number one also, or number, number one and a half, make sure it is not broken, okay? So if you're curious about that, if it's really swollen and really black and blue, make sure you get that looked at, okay? You need to put a little bit of ice on it if you're into that thing. I hate ice in New Hampshire in the winter. But the biggest thing is actually getting a little bit of compression and some stability, right? So if your ankle is feeling wobbly, if you really strained that ligament, you want not only compression, but something that's gonna give it a little bit of support too. And this is my favorite. This is what I use for me because yes, I have certainly had this happen, especially after shattering my ankle. But this actually gives you a figure eight strapping that will help support that ankle. I'll link this down below too. Um, it's a Bauer Fiend brace. You can certainly use anything that's comfortable for you, but you are gonna need to give that ankle a little bit of support. So you have different grades of ankle sprains. Grade one is where it like, eh, all right, it's a little tweaky feeling, but you can kind of move on it and move around after a day or so without really much of a problem. Grade two, there might be a little bit of swelling. It definitely hurts to walk on. Grade three tends to be that, not just that swelling, but that bruising. And those are the ones you really want to make sure you get looked at. And obviously, if you're questioning anything at all, get it looked at. All right, so a little ice if you're comfortable with that. Definitely the compression. Once you feel like, OK, it's not so swollen. I actually have a little less pain in it. We're going to move on to the actual rehab. So starting sitting down, because it's going to be more comfortable for you, we want to get some range of motion back. And you could go ahead and just do circles and back and forth, but I really like the ankle alphabet because you can get all sorts of little letters. You can go capital, you can go lowercase, you can make sentences or words like okie dokie, that's a favorite one of mine because that one's hard to do. Really focus on trying to use just your foot and not like the whole leg swing thing with it, okay? You're going to do that multiple times a day whenever you get the chance to get your foot up a little bit. Um, you can even do this on the ground, but certainly if you're sitting on a chair, you want to make sure that your leg is extended and you can try to do this, or your leg is hanging off a bed as long as it's not super swollen. Number next is going to be a mobility one for the ankle. So to mobilize the ankle to begin with, it's easiest to do it in a sitting position so that you don't worry you have to put weight on it. So if you find your ankle, again, I'm going to use my right one, if you find that ankle bone here, and you come down and forward, you'll feel almost a little, a little divot in there, okay? You're going to take that right hand, if it's your right ankle, you're going to cup it around, ooh, it's a big hand right there, and then you're going to place that over that little space there with the thumb coming down at an angle. This hand is going to press and stabilize, while the other hand is going to move that foot up and down, okay? So this hand, stable, this one is moving. And the reason this is important is because the ankle actually starts to get locked up after you've had a sprain. And so we need to get the joint itself moving as well as some of the muscles. After you have worked on getting that joint moving a little bit better, you actually want to work on getting the calf muscles loosened because remember, if the ankle gets kind of stuck and locked, that means all those muscles that are helping out also get a little bit stuck and locked. So I'm going to grab the derma edge, which is now in a pretty blue in one piece. I'll link that up for you guys too. And we're going to do a little assessment in through that leg. And because, again, I have a lot of ankle things going on here, I do tend to have tightness. You can almost see that bumpiness. And we're just going to go in one direction. And for me, it's actually bumpier going up. So that's the direction I'm going to go in so that we can use the lymph system. And you're doing this until it feels a little less bumpy, a little less uncomfortable. And you do want to make sure that I'm getting the inside but you also want to make sure, I'm just going to turn it a bit of a funky angle, you are looking at the outside of those muscles too. I'll move my leg a little bit this way. You don't have to be in that exact position, okay? So there you have it. Next is going to be, after you've kind of loosened that up, a little stretch for those muscles. Again, 
We're doing all of this sitting to begin with because usually it feels a little bit better to start. So whether you're on your bed or on the floor, I'm gonna take my pull-up band because that's what I've got, but you can use a sheet or a strap, anything you have handy, a belt. This is gonna go around the ball of the foot. I'm gonna grab onto the ends and I'm just gonna help pull that ankle up. Yes, my ankle probably doesn't have great mobility like yours might, uh, but that's why we're all working on these things, and you're just gonna hold it, okay? If it feels good for you, you certainly can even lift up a little bit, but this is usually where I have people start. So we got a little mobility, a little stretch. Try to hold that for 30 seconds to a minute and let yourself ease into it. From there, we're gonna start with the basic strengthening things. So you need a band. I love the loop bands. I'll link those below too. But this is gonna go around the toesies. If it, well, no, around the feet, that would be weird to go around the toes. So for the first one, you're actually gonna pull that foot out. No, no, it's tough for me, I'll be honest with you. Right? The most common ankle sprain is to kind of roll that ankle and then it's right in here that that ligament tends to be the one that's the issue. But that means you're limited actually tend to be in both directions, out and we're gonna do 10 to 15 a couple times a day. Please only do this if it doesn't really cause you pain, okay? I'm actually gonna cross right on over, make sure there's a little resistance, and then you can get the opposite motion without having to worry about tying it onto a wall or having a buddy hold it for you, unless you wanna make your partner work, that's okay too. Same idea, 10 to 15 repetitions a couple times a day. And then one more seated strength one we're gonna do right in the chair, or the bed, whatever works for you. But we're gonna start to get what we call heel raises or plantar flexion going. So you're just sitting here and you're gonna lift those heels rising right onto those toes. I'll turn it a little bit of an angle for you there. If that feels good, then you go ahead and you can shift just right onto one foot too. Once you have progressed beyond sitting, it feels good enough, and usually that takes a, a week to two weeks depending on where you're at. We're gonna work on some of those same things, but again, standing, because we all have to stand and move. So first things first is that mobility of that ankle joint again. So standing, because it is weight bearing, I'm gonna kick that out of the way. If we go, again, it's my right ankle, even just trying to get a little bit of a lunge position, is gonna start to get a little bit of more, a little bit of more, a little more mobility and range of motion in through that ankle. Again, 10 to 15 reps. Now to progress that and to get even more of that mobility, if you take, I'm gonna use my assisted pull-up band again, but you can take, again, a strap or a belt, tie it onto something sturdy, which this is not, so I'm not gonna pull real hard, but it's gonna go around the front of the ankle. You're gonna step out until you have some resistance, and then you're gonna add that same motion in again. So now you have a counter force to really get that joint going a little bit more, okay? The other one you're gonna do <laughs> without pulling the chair, same idea, kind of around the back of the ankle this time, and then again, add that bend and that straighten so that you're getting the ankle from both directions. Alrighty? After that, kick that out of the way, we're gonna go right into a heel raise on both feet. So 10 to 15, again, that's kind of the theme here. Once it feels okay, you're gonna pick one foot up a little bit. And I'm just gonna show you on my left side so that you can see that a little bit better. You're gonna go and do most of the work on one side with the other leg supporting. So I'll show you this way just so that you can see. I've got the other leg bent, but most of my weight is on this side. Clearly, if it's my right leg, which is the issue, I would do it the opposite way. Once you can do that, then you can go ahead and try to get that single leg raise. Most likely, please holding on, okay? Once you feel great about that, you can go ahead and let go and work on balance even a little bit more. So that's, right, that motion. Now we wanna get this motion. So this is a moving one. You're gonna stand with your feetsies together and it's like a little dance. You're gonna go this way and this way. And if you've got a squeaky floor like me, you're gonna sound like that. All right, so again, we're getting that inversion and eversion, right? The motions that tend to be lost when we do that ankle sprain 
All I can think of is uh, the 40-year-old the virgin movie where he's doing this karaoke dance. See if you can find out what that is. All right, so again, back and forth. You can do this in shoes if you need to, right? Especially if you need a little bit of support for that. And then you're gonna move on to the grapevine. So again, we're getting that ankle stability and mobility here. Crossing in back, crossing in front. Over, whoopsies, I'm going at an angle. You do wanna go both directions so that ankle has to work just as hard as you can possibly make it without causing it to be too much pain. Okay, from there, you're gonna do a little clock. So you actually are going to keep your feet together and you're gonna do a little knee bend and you're gonna shift your weight to the side, back and off to the side. So almost like you're doing a little hula hoop, right? And you'll go in both directions. Again, another one that you wanna to try to progress to single leg hanging on as need be. So again, coming kind of forward, side, back, side, right? Again, right, really work on that balance. You can let go. Pat your head, rub your tummy too at the same time. Just kidding, because I can't really do that. And there you have it. Some great ways to really work on some of the mobility, the range of motion, and the strength. So if you liked this information today, please subscribe and leave any comments below.